Black Consciousness, Pan-African Solidarity, and the Vision for a Borderless Africa. Welcome to BMTV Africa, where we explore the stories and ideas shaping our continent. In today's episode, we delve into a profound topic that has influenced African identity and struggle, Black Consciousness. We'll also explore the contributions of African leaders from across the continent, such as those from Uganda, Tanzania, Zambia, and Ghana, in supporting South Africa during its fight against apartheid. Finally, we discuss the vision of a united, borderless Africa, inspired by the ideals of Pan-Africanism. Let's dive in. The concept of black consciousness was popularized by South African activist Steve Biko in the 1960s and 1970s. Biko's philosophy aimed to empower black people in South Africa, encouraging them to take pride in their identity and reject the inferiority imposed by the apartheid system. Black consciousness was not just about political resistance, it was a psychological and cultural revolution that called for the reclaiming of African identity and dignity. Steve Biko believed that the liberation of black South Africans could only begin when they first liberated their minds from the chains of colonial thought. He famously said, the most potent weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. Through his organization, the South African Students' Organization, SESO, Biko mobilized young people and emphasized the importance of self-reliance and inner strength. His work laid the foundation for a greater resistance movement against apartheid and inspired many across the continent. But Biko's struggle did not happen in isolation. The fight against apartheid in South Africa was bolstered by a network of support from neighboring African nations and leaders who shared a vision of a liberated, unified Africa. This solidarity was rooted in the broader Pan-Africanist movement that emerged as African countries gained independence throughout the 1950s and 1960s. Pan-Africanism, a movement championed by figures like Kwame Kruma of Ghana, Julius Nyerere of Tanzania, and Kenneth Konda of Zambia, was a call for unity among African nations. Kruma, in particular, envisioned a continent united politically and economically, free from the divisions imposed by colonial borders. He often argued that the independence of Ghana was meaningless unless all of Africa was liberated. These ideals resonated deeply across the continent, shaping the struggle for freedom in South Africa. Ghana, under Krumah, became the first sub-Saharan African country to gain independence in 1957. This historic achievement ignited hope and offered a blueprint for other African nations. Kruma provided financial and moral support to liberation movements across the continent, including the African National Congress ANC, of South Africa. He understood that the fight against apartheid was part of a larger struggle against colonialism and oppression. Tanzania, led by Julius Nyerere, played a pivotal role in supporting South Africa's anti-apartheid efforts. Nyerere, a staunch advocate for Pan-African unity, provided sanctuary and training grounds for South African freedom fighters. The Tanzanian government allowed the ANC and other liberation groups to establish bases within its borders, offering a safe haven for leaders like Oliver Tambo and Nelson Mandela. Nyerere's commitment to the cause was unwavering, reflecting his belief that Africa's freedom was interconnected. In Zambia, Kenneth Konda also opened his country's doors to South African exiles. The Zambian capital, Lusaka, became a headquarters for the ANC in exile. Despite facing economic hardships and threats from the apartheid regime, Konda maintained his support for South African liberation movements. He believed that the sacrifices were necessary for the greater good of the continent's freedom and unity. Uganda, under leaders like Milton Obote and later Yoweri Museveni, also expressed solidarity with South Africa's freedom struggle. While Obote offered political support, Museveni, after coming to power in the 1980s, continued this legacy by condemning apartheid and advocating for the rights of oppressed South Africans on international platforms. Uganda's support highlighted the shared vision among African leaders for a continent free from racial segregation and colonial oppression. The contributions of these African nations during the anti-apartheid struggle underscore the importance of solidarity across borders. Their actions were not just about supporting South Africa but were part of a broader dream of a united Africa. 
This vision of unity brings us to an important discussion about the future, the need to remove borders within Africa. Today, we see a divided continent where movement between African countries is often restricted by visa requirements and complex immigration laws. This is in stark contrast to the European Union, where citizens see. Today, we see a divided continent where movement between African countries is often restricted by visa requirements and complex immigration laws. This is in stark contrast to the European Union, where citizens can travel freely between member states without a passport. Imagine the potential if African countries adopted a similar approach. Removing borders would facilitate trade, boost economic growth, and strengthen cultural ties. It would also allow for the free movement of people, skills, and ideas, creating a more integrated and resilient continent. The idea of a borderless Africa is not new. It was a dream shared by many Pan-Africanists, including Baiko, Kruma, and Nyerere. They envisioned an Africa where the artificial borders drawn by colonial powers would no longer divide us. These borders, established during the Berlin Conference of 1884-1885, have had long-lasting impacts, dividing ethnic groups and disrupting the natural flow of trade and interaction between African communities. The African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA, launched in 2021, is a step towards realizing this vision. It aims to create a single market for goods and services across the continent, boosting intra-African trade and reducing barriers. However, for this vision to reach its full potential, we need to go beyond just economic agreements. We need to embrace the idea of free movement of people, similar to the Schengen area in Europe. The benefits of removing borders are clear. It would allow African entrepreneurs to expand their businesses beyond national limits, increase job opportunities, and enhance cultural exchange. Furthermore, it would strengthen our collective identity as Africans, reminding us that our shared history and struggles bind us more than the borders that separate us. This vision of a united Africa is deeply rooted in the legacy of leaders like Steve Biko and the many African leaders who supported South Africa during its darkest days. They understood that our strength lies in our unity. As Baiko fought for the psychological liberation of black South Africans, Pan-Africanists fought for the political and economic liberation of the entire continent. Their struggles were interconnected, driven by a shared belief in the dignity, potential, and sovereignty of African people. Today, we stand at a crossroads. We have the opportunity to build on their legacy and push for a truly united Africa. Removing borders and promoting the free movement of people is not just a political goal, it is a continuation of the dream of African unity that has inspired generations. As we reflect on the contributions of African leaders from Uganda, Tanzania, Zambia, Ghana, and many others, we are reminded of the power of solidarity. They stood together in the fight against apartheid and colonialism. Now, it is up to us to carry forward their vision of a united, borderless Africa. By embracing this vision, we can build a continent where African nations work together for the collective good, where the barriers that once divided us become bridges that connect us. Thank you for joining us on BMTV Africa. As we honor the legacy of Steve Biko and the countless African leaders who fought for freedom and unity, let us remember that the journey towards a united Africa continues. The dream of a borderless, prosperous Africa is within our reach if we stand together. Until next time, stay tuned, stay informed, and keep the spirit of Pan-Africanism alive. This podcast script provides a comprehensive look at the philosophy of black consciousness, the Pan-African solidarity during the apartheid struggle, and the potential of a united, borderless Africa.